we remind ourselves we look at the domain as the input va values usually it's x or the independent variable and the range or is the output values normally we call it y and by the way how do you know who's input and who's output if I were to look at a piece of graph paper that's x that's y so the horizontal axis is always the input value the vertical is always the output if you're going to take uh, like courses like economics something like that it's not unusual that they flip x and y so that you look at it from a different direction that's what really kind of drives you crazy and they say okay we're going to flip it and then look at it from a different perspective but if any time I look at this kind of situation your domain is always going to be the horizontal axis or x and your range is always going to be the vertical axis or y in this particular instance I could call it a b okay think of it also this way domain range alphabetical order alphabetical order so the domain is the imp first value and the range would be the second I have to make things kind of stupid enough that I can remember them and that's one thing sometimes if I can get it in alphabetic order then it's like okay I might have a, a fighting chance of remembering how all the stuff works okay so here's the problem we left off with we're looking at a graph trying to identify its domain and range now what's important about this graph that's different from anything we looked at is that this thing has an arrow at the end so it's going to continue to go so here's your arrow that was the end of the original graph but then it just continues to go on forever and ever so an arrow at the end basically look at the direction it's going so it's going to continue going up or it's going to continue going down one or the other and that's going to affect your range more than anything else so that if I think about a matter of perspective to find the domain it's as though my perspective is I'm going from left to right so that smallest x value to largest x value and I'm looking at do I see graph since this continues on forever and ever the answer is I will always see gra graph as I'm coming in from the back end which is minus infinity and then I notice that I stop seeing graph right here at x equal 2 so that says if I look at the domain I'm going from minus infinity all the way to 2 an easy way to write this is that I know that my x's because that's my domain is going to be larger than negative infinity but since this is a solid dot less than or equal to 2 in interval notation that ends up being easy it's minus <coughs> infinity comma 2 and include so it would be square bracket so interval notation would be an easy way to do it too you don't care which one we use. I don't care what 20 years depending upon where you go after this you'll find you probably use interval notation more than you use inequality but every now and then you'll use inequality as well and sometimes you use number line so it's got a filter in between but I personally don't care just get me the right answer yeah, to be honest